The path to become a professional Muay Thai fighter is not a long journey. You don't have to train decades to become a professional fighter. But it's a hard decision to make because if you don't take advantages of the opportunities that you will get, your career as a professional fighter won't be that long. And what do I mean by that? When I started training Muay Thai, I did it to lose weight, to get in a better shape, to have six pack to impress the ladies. But later on I understood that ladies are not that impressed of the six pack but of your attitude. But that was my motivation in the beginning until I had the chance to test my limits in the Muay Thai ring. And I had my first amateur fight. Here in Europe, the difference between amateur and pro fighter is that as an amateur, you will fight with the shin guards, with the head gear, and it's not that longer rounds. There are two minute rounds. I had my first amateur fight and I won two knockout in the second round. And that started a fire inside me that I wanted to pursue this path to see how far I can go. So I've won my first four amateur fight until one opportunity to fight pro came. I was preparing for my amateur fight, but in the same day, it was a professional event in the evening. And my coach called me and asked me, Flavi, do you want to fight in the evening because an opponent of a fighter didn't came? So do you want to replace him? And I said, hell yeah. I will do it, but I didn't know that I will fight without shin guards and headgear. And when I presented myself in the evening to the competition, I was already geared up almost to put my headgear and my coach said, take those off because you will fight without headgear and without shin guards. And I said, okay, let's do it. And I won my first professional fight, my professional debut. And that was a crazy feeling for me. I said, wow, I can face this type of challenges. I can fight without shin guards, without headgear, and I can overcome tougher fighters. And it started a bigger fire inside me to pursue this path, to see how far I can go. And my second professional fight, I've won through knockout in the third round, and that was really great for me. And the opportunities to fight professional came even more and more. I've won my first 15 professional fights, no loss and it was a really great feeling to win my professional fights and to have 15 wins in a row it was a really cool feeling for me but the point here is that the difference between an amateur and a professional fighter is how you train how you prepare yourself every day an amateur only trains when he feels like He's going to the gym only three or four times per week. He doesn't take care of his diet and the mindset is not that focused and determined to do whatever it takes to be the best. As a professional, I've learned that you have to train even if you don't feel like training, you have to do the things that you hate the most to eat as clean as possible during the week. Yes, once per week you can indulge yourself in different types of things but you have to stick to the program to have a good sleeping schedule it's not that easy to live a professional fight and if you don't have this type of discipline when you're fighting in the ring in a professional event you don't have that many chances because if you don't win your first professional debut or the second or, or the third you won't get any chances because the promoter wants fighters who win and put on a show. If you don't train, if you don't prepare yourself, if you don't take this career seriously, you won't have that many chances. It's a really hard path to follow, to be a professional fighter, but the rewards are great, they are immense. When your hand is raised up in the ring and or a belt is put around your belly and you feel you're on the top of a world is the greatest feeling that you can have it's not an easy choice because you have to make sacrifices but doing the hard things will make your life great adventurous you will have stories to tell to other people i opened my own kickboxing academy here in my home country in romania and i'm training a lot of people every day they are coming to me to train them, to prepare them to become greater fighters. And now I have a professional uh, group where I'm going with them in different competitions and I'm preparing them to become top fighters. And it's a great feeling that I can share my journey with them. It's a fulfilling journey. Being a professional fighter, even now I'm a, a professional fighter and I get offers to fight in competition. And I still want to fight to test myself in the ring because I feel like uh, when I'm fighting, when I'm preparing for a fight, one month before a fight, the training cap is really strict. I'm training twice a day, I'm having a clean diet and I'm not indulging in different type of things and I'm not wasting my time. I'm focusing on becoming better and to win my fights. So if you decide that you want to go on this path, 
think about if you are ready to make sacrifices to become the best version of yourself to become the greatest fighter it's not an easy road but it's all worth it i can guarantee you that because i'm doing this for the past 13 years and i'm feeling amazing and i'm still doing it so 13 years has passed really fast for me i'm grateful that i did something with my time for the past 13 years it's not an easy journey but it's all worth it the difference between an amateur and a pro fighter is how you train how you eat how you think how you prepare how you're taking your trainings seriously or not if you're going to the gym every day and it's not an easy journey but it's a choice so are you ready to make the choice to become a professional fighter if yes stick to your choice do your best and forget the rest until next time stay strong be unstoppable champ I came from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon